good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Fell Coast. This is part two of our weird and wonderful um, avoid as many people as you can walks in lockdown videos. <laughs> so this is filmed on Tuesday the 12th of January and we've already done the video of the Project Neptune at Fleetwood Dock. So if you've not already seen that you need to get the link from the um, comments below. And this is the Fisherman's Walk end of Fleetwood. And that is the Fisherman's Walk tram stop, which you can just about see there. So that is Cops Road. And we are going to, we are going to take a walk down and round the roundabout, because this is an interesting end of, end of the town. Now this building's had a, a long and checkered past, and I didn't quite expect to be to be walking past this one this morning and I can't quite remember what it used to be but there is a there is an interesting page on our Visit Fleetwood website that's got all the information in about it and there's some photographs of inside and when it was renovated because several different people had, had sort of mooted the suggestion of using using the building um, because it had been derelict for many, many years. And now it's halls of residence for students, mostly at the Nautical College. And this on our left-hand side here is Asda, the great metropolis of Asda. And if you've been around Fleetwood or come into Fleetwood for a long time, you might remember the old Chandler's buildings that were here before that. You see clear, more clearly when we get round to the front. Now, down here, this is Sidings Road. That's a noisy car. This is Sidings Road where much of the fish processing goes on at the moment. And there are loads of different sort of heavy industries down there as well. And <laughs> there are various scrap dealers and you might remember seeing a car parked on top of a chimney. In fact, I think it might be that one. There'd been a red car and then there'd been a yellow car and they're really, really amusing to look at. And I've stopped here because you can see how derelict that building is there. And this one at the, the front was not so far off in the same kind of condition. So I'll pop you the link in the um, description below and you can have a look at... Oh, frighten me to death. You can have a look at the um, <clears throat> pictures of it. And as I said, there are some pictures of it inside which are quite interesting because it's a beautiful old building. Barney's Bingo is obviously closed. So this is the big roundabout that you'll be familiar with if you come to visit Fleetwood in any regularity. And in summer, it's often, it's often a, a, a crowd of um go on wildflowers that's what i'm trying to say so we've just done our first video this morning up here on the side of the docks now you can just see the top of the wind turbine it's not moving because it's not really very breezy and you can just see some cranes and things i'll just zoom in so that's where we've done our first video this morning right down right right down there about Project Neptune and the redevelopment work that's going to be taking place at the docks. So that glass roof there that you can see is the entrance to Affinity. And that building that's silhouetted at the moment by the, by the sun is Home Bargains. So that's a, that's a, a, a good shop if ever there were one. And nice and convenient as well because you can you can park your car and bring your stuff out to the car in your, in your trolley. And fountain of all food, McDonald's. So that makes for a nice, a nice rounded afternoon now. Oh, I nearly walked past this then. Just a second. Let's, let's stand here and wait for these people to pass. <coughs> right, they've gone. So this is the, the Lost Trollman Memorial. And you can see this is actually the funnel of a Fleetwood fishing boat. 
And there's a, a sign here that tells you all about it as well. In memory of skipper Wilfred Elliot and the crew of St Goth, which are always in our thoughts and never to be forgotten. And that is from Wilfred Elliot Jr. So this tells you all about the goth and you can see it's it's funnel there look on the on the picture. Disappeared in a fierce storm off the North Cape of Iceland in December 1948. Goodness me, just imagine going to sea in a ship in 1948. There's no wonder they all perished. There's actually another page on our Visit Cleveland's website all about the shipwreck memorial <coughs> which is on the seafront at the boundary where Cleveland's meets Blackpool and that lists all of the ships going back to sort of 16 knot blob so you might be interested in taking a look at that as well um, I'll put you the link in the description just while we're walking around this corner I've deliberately picked places to come this week that I know there'll be as, as few people as possible to make your videos for you because making videos is part of my business. It's not a hobby. It's not something I'm doing for entertainment. I'm trying to, I'm trying to earn a living. And in the absence of any government grants, um, well, let's just say I'm working for free currently. So if you want to help us out of that predicament, you're more than welcome to buy us a coffee. And there's a link for that as well in the description below. And everything that you donate and all the coffees that you buy for us all goes towards producing more of the content that you'll like. So yes, I am keeping to the spirit of all the restrictions. I am coming out of the house as minimal times as possible. So I'll do, do well if I get one or two escapes this week. So this is Asda at Fleetwood and you might remember that there used to be old red brick buildings here. I can remember going in them when we first moved to this area. Um, let's walk down to this crossing. And there was a, a ship's chandlers was one of them, which was really... Really good shot. We used to often go in there for a nose. And you could you could get all kinds of bits and bobs. We bought some rope from there when we were doing our front garden. Because we we did it with a nautical theme. And they were all demolished to make way for for Asda. Now part three of this week's videos is going to be the next part of Dock Street. So I'm just gonna walk up to this corner here. And I'm going to cross the road and I'm going to go down the other side of the road. So this is, this is an old pub converted into a dentist. And that is beautiful inside. We, we go to their branch in Cleveland. So I've, I've been there for emergency treatment. <laughs> um, and the building inside is absolutely beautiful. And that big building on the right hand side there, that one, that's the health centre, walking centre and that's where they do all kinds of weird and wonderful things and again I've been in that one as well <laughs> perhaps prefer not to have done so I'm going to walk around the corner here and I'm going to take you to the edge of the river wire so I think what we'll do we'll, we'll, take, a, we'll take a left at the end of the fish shop building and then you'll be able to see how near we are to the actual river because Fleetwood is quite confusing. It's all, well, I think it's confusing anyway. It took me a long time to work out how to find my way around because it's literally a peninsula of land. It's almost circular. So you, you kind of end up doubling back on yourself every which way that you're going. So if you turn left here, it takes you to the edge of the river. And these are the houses that we were just looking at next to the affinity site. So I'll just, I'll just walk to the end of here. And there's a footpath here that turns left 
along the, the side of the river and I, I went down there one day um, very early in the morning and took some photographs. What's that? Let's have a look. British Transport Docks Board, Jubilee Key Fleetwood. Reconstructed 1972, opened by Walter Clegg Esquire, President of Fleetwood Inshore Fisheries Association, 8th of July 1972. Well, there you go. So that's the that's the river wire that you can see in the in the distance, and this is one of the little docks. Really interesting places. In fact, these little boats that are moored... Let me just line it up to the fence because we're getting the fence instead of the view. These little boats that are moored... Um, we've actually got a painting in our Seaside Emporium website of one of those. Um, some little little pretty fishing boats. Yeah, spying. 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 <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna, um, just break there for a second and take some pictures. It's two seconds. Right, so that's that's some that's some photos taken for the for the archive. So that's the back of the health centre that we've just looked at. And that little footpath goes kinda down the end, I'm not sure where to. And with the puddle that big I'm not going to go and look. So we're gonna go back down here. Um it look like the van's backed in. Um and we're going to go to the end of the next footpath, which is at the side of Affinity, and then you'll be able to see be able to see the river better because it takes you sort of nearer to the end of it. Right, so we're back onto the main road now. <clears throat> and that is the main road, the A585, the mountainous way, that takes you um, back up to the junction of Morrison's and Cleveland. So I'm going to walk in the mud and then I can give all these people a wide berth because I've got my supper duper walking shoes on today <coughs> it's actually quite warm Ooh, wobble wobble it's actually quite warm when you get walking that sun's beautiful in fact I'm starting to get really warm so that's home bargains that I pointed out at the roundabout and McDonald's that we're just coming round to now I can remember these houses at the left hand side on Anchorage Road being built and <laughs> being of a being of a curious nature. My darling mother and I went and had a look at the, the shore flats when they were building them and they are really nice. The beautiful properties. Um and in a really handy spot as well because they're so near to Affinity and they're also near to the town centre. And when you walk to the end of here, there's also a new footpath that was built as part of the um, housing development at the other side of the dock. Um, it was part of their part of their commitment to you know whatever you need to do when you build a new development all all developers are expected to to do things um so if you live on the housing estate you can also Fleetwood Harbour Village that's it I couldn't for the life of me remember what that housing estate was called it's not exactly a difficult name is it to remember so if you live on the estate, you've got footpath access. So if you want to walk or cycle across to, to, to town, 
You can do look at this seagull. Is that waiting for him to? <laughs> but I can't think of him as McDonald's. They're funny. <coughs> so this is the back of Sports Direct. In fact, I'll tell you what, we'll just cross here. And you'll know exactly where we are when you look through this gate. Oh, what a lovely morning. Look at the water twinkling on the boat. So this is the front side of Affinity that you see when you're shopping. And back in the midst of time, there used to be a gate here. There used to be a, a turnstile. So there's, you can see this, just around this corner is next. And um, the kids playground and, and one thing and another. Straight at the end of there is the fish dock where they're doing the redevelopment work. And this is what used to be a wire dock, which was one of the docks that the fishing merchants used to come into. So that's the back entrance. Wave to the CCTV camera, they'll be saying, oh, it's Jane. What's she doing now? Catherine's watching me, she'll be saying. Oh, look, we're on video again. <laughs> and this is the river wire that we're coming up to here. And this is the access into all of the fish dock. Here we go. One river. Oh, look, that's, that's the end of Affinity. In fact, you might just be able to see if I just pop that through the gap. That's just round the corner into the dock and we'll just go this way and just have a look at this footbridge and this is the footbridge she says which is open at the moment for the boats to come through so you can see that's a that's a swing bridge that swings across. So that's, in fact, that there is the um, the old loading gear thing on the the dock front near the museum. That's the the channel of the river as it goes out. And at that side is at that side of the river is not end. Beautiful countryside. That house is in a lovely spot on that end. And then you can see round here, this is the, the dock at, at Affinity. So there you go. That was a bit more of an interesting walk around than I perhaps expected it to be. And on a beautiful day as well. And we've not hardly met any people. So that's a bonus. Um, so don't forget folks, if you've enjoyed this video, give it, a, give it a like, share it with your friends and if you've not already done so, subscribe to the Visit File Coast YouTube channel. Make sure you've hit that little bell for notifications and make sure that you stay safe now and that you come back to us, come back to us soon. You take care. Bye for now. Bye.